greatest common divisor of two uh, positive integers as a linear combination of those positive integers. So for our first case, let's take the numbers 270 and 192. So we're going to use the Euclidean algorithm to find the GCD, and then we're going to use that process to write the GCD as a linear combination of those two numbers. So starting off, let's use our Euclidean algorithm. Okay, so between 270 and 292, or 192, 270 is equal to 1 times 192 plus 78. 192 plus 78, that's the div and that's the mod. Okay, then we're going to take the 192 and find out how we can write that in terms of 78. So 192 would be 2 times 78 plus 36, right? Two copies of 78 go in with 36 left over. Next step, I'm going to take that 78 and we're going to write it as a linear combination with the 36. So 2 times 36 is 72, so we get two copies of that. 2 36 is a 72 plus 6 remainder. And then we are going to take the 36 and write it as copies of 6, and that would be 6 times 6 with no remainder. No remainder, and that means that this number right here is the GCD. So the GCD of 270 and 192 is the number 6, and that's the Euclidean algorithm. So now we wish to write 6 as a linear combination of 270 and 192. So to do that, we're going to take this column right there and say that 6 is equal to 1 times 78 um, and then we move the 2 over so we get plus negative 2 multiplied by 36. Right, so that's what 6 is equal to. But from this line we know that 36 is equal to something, right? From this line we can see that 36 is equal to one copy of 192 add minus two copies of 78. And from the top line we can actually see that 78 is equal to something we know, right? 78 is equal to something. 78 is equal to one copy of 270 plus negative one copies of 192. So remember, our whole goal is to write 6. So I'm coming back down to this blue one here, and I'm going to say 6 is equal to 1 times 78 plus negative 2 times 36, but I'm going to substitute the green in there to say that this is 1 copy of 192 plus minus 2 copies of 78. Okay, so 1 copy of 78 minus 2 times minus 2 would be plus 4 copies of 78. So we're going to get 5 copies of 78 from there. And from here we're going to get minus 2 copies of 192. So we're going to say minus 2 copies of 192 plus the 1 and the minus 2 times the minus 2, 4 more for 5 copies of 78. Okay, but we do know what 78 is. 78 is this. So now we can say we get negative 2 times 192 plus 5 times the 78, which is 1 copy of 270 plus negative 1 copies of 192. Okay, so simplifying this out, looks like we have that 5 copies of 270 to begin with, 5 copies of 270, and then we have 5 times negative 1, which is negative 5, on top of the negative 2 would be plus negative 7 copies of the 192. And that's equal to 6. So we've successfully written 6 as a linear combination of 270 and of 192. Okay, so that's about a four or five minute process there. I am going to write another problem on the next page. You should pause the video and try it on your own. Try to find the linear combination, uh, uh, try to write the GCD of these two numbers as a linear combination of these two numbers. Let's take the numbers 140.
40 and 297. Okay, so pause the video, try this on your own following the Euclidean algorithm. And assuming you did, let's do it together. 297. How many times does 140 go in? Looks like 2 times 140 would be 280 plus one extra copy of 17. So 140 now is how many copies of 17? Well, let's see, that would go in 8 times 17 because that's 136 and we would add on one copy of 4. Then we would write 17. How many times does 4 go into 17? Well, it goes in 4 times, that's 16 plus a remainder of 1. And then finally, the 4 with the 1 would just be 4 times 1, so that's done. So 1 is the GCD. 140 and 297 are relatively prime, relatively prime. From this line right here, we can now say that 1 would be equal to, let's see, 1 copy of 17 plus negative 4 copies of 4. This line here would give me that 4 is equal to 1 copy of 140 plus negative 8 copies of 17. And this line right here would give me that 17 is equal to 1 copy of 297 plus negative 2 copies of 140. So going through the blue here, we have 1 times 17 plus negative 4 times 4, so that would be equal to 1 times 17 plus negative 4 times 1 copy of 140 plus negative 8 copies of 17. Okay, collecting like terms and distributing, we got negative 4 copies of the 140. I'm like moving the big one out in front. And then we have 117, but from the negative 4 times the negative 8, we're getting positive 32 copies of 17. So we're going to get a total of 33 copies of 17. Okay, now let's get rid of the 17 by using the orange. So we get negative 4 times 140 plus 33 copies of the 17, which is 1, 297 plus negative 2 times 140. So again, collecting like terms, it looks like we have 33 times 1, so we have 33 copies of 297. From here, we're going to get negative 66 on top of the negative 4, so we're going to get plus negative 70 copies of the 140. And there we go. We have written 1 as a linear combination of 297 and 140 using the Euclidean algorithm.